name is uh, Milandao um, from Bumbuna. I'm a Sierra Leonean from Bumbuna, and I grew up in this village called Kamato. Kamato is the village, one of the villages that hosted Bumbuna Hydroelectric Dam. Uh, the sad story about this village is that uh, when the dam was finally commissioned in 2009, electricity was taken straight to Freetown and McKinney. And it took a couple of years before Bumbuna town itself was given electricity, was electrified. Unfortunately, the village that hosted the dam was neglected. Now it's 12 years down the line. The people of Kamato have no electricity. And the sad story is that uh, when the kids want to study at night, they have to light firewood in their houses. The carbon monoxide, people are dying because of this, because of carbon monoxide. I recall when I was a kid, in 1988, it was 86 or 88, my father was one uh, of the young men who protested uh, about the construction of the dam and he was arrested and locked up at the Mafanta prison for a month. I, and I did remember that they were not compensated and up to this day, my people have been prevented from farming around the dam and at the same time, there is no compensation. So we have taken a action this time. Um, the villagers have come together and they have asked me to take up this issue with the government. And I've contracted the services of uh, the legal farm, Namati. My name is Sonkita Conte. I am the director of Namati, which is a legal empowerment organization. I am aware of the situation in Bumbuna. I mean, over the years, we've seen how the pursuit of natural resources, the exploitation of natural resources, has affected many of the communities in that area. But what I want to talk about today is what has been facing a number of villages like Kamatho and Kadala, which basically hosts the hydroelectric project, Bumbuna, that many of us are aware of. Interestingly, the land space that Bumbuna occupies in those areas was taken from these villages without compensation. As far as we know, the records are very clear. We have not seen any evidence of payment of compensation to these communities for the land that was appropriated by the government then for the Bumbuna Hydroelectric Project. The problem we have in this village is that from the time the government took our land for the construction of the hydro dam, we have not been compensated. Last year, I was arrested and locked up for farming on my own land. We have been fried with our own oil. Worst of all, they passed the cables over our head in this village and took the light to Freetown, the capital city, and left us in complete darkness. We have been crying for so long. This is our village. It is not decent. How do you say it? This is where the laborers came from. They have taken our lands. We have cried, but no answer. We need light, but the place is dark. And this is where the light is coming from to supply the city. They say, let us send our children to school. But they've taken our land. We don't have anywhere to cultivate crops so that we can manage our lives. We have all options on the table to ensure that this time the people of Kamato, the people of Kadala and the people of Kasokra villages, the surrounding villages are given electricity and they are fully compensated for the land that was taken away from them. We don't have any place left to farm. Water has taken over our land. The little land that we want to use for farming, the government has reserved it as a conservation for animals. No one cares about us in this village.
I hope that the government will work with us to resolve this issue peacefully. That's our hope and that's our wish. And I hope that uh, the president, if you ever see this video or hear about the story, that he will act swiftly to make sure that the people of Kamato, Kadala, Kasokra, and all the surrounding villages are fully compensated and that this disgrace, it is a disgrace that the village that hosted the dam has no electricity and that they will resolve this problem as soon as possible. Again, once again, my name is Milan Victor Dao and uh, we are ready to work with the government to resolve this problem peacefully. Thank you very much.